cook, she got the recipe She got what you need That girl can cook, that black girl magic I gotta have it, the way she work it The way she whip it, whip it She's so savage, she ain't average, yeah You don't want none of this, <laughs> but you do Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today we are making some birria chicken tacos y'all I've been wanting to make this for so long a lot of people have been looking up this recipe lately and I'm like I'm just gonna go ahead and make my version of it all right so I know you guys can hear that I'm excited so we're gonna go ahead and get right on into it all right so here I'm starting off with a can of chipotle peppers and adobo sauce first of all these are super spicy all right, if you don't like spice, you may want to try another pepper, but I'm using those as well as dried ancho chilies. And I had these ancho chilies soaking in a little bit of water and I'm adding them to my food processor and I'm just going to puree it up a little bit. And that's what's going to make that thick base to that consomme that we're going to be eating with these delicious birria tacos, honey. And here I'm just going to add a little bit of water and the rest of my chili peppers just so I can get a finer consistency. I'm gonna blend that thing up one more time and then our sauce will be ready. Okay, so traditionally with birria tacos, it's usually made with beef shank, but today I am using chicken thighs, all right? Chicken thighs, that, that's what we eat in my household, okay? So I'm gonna use some chicken thighs and I'm gonna place those into the bottom of my crock pot. And then I'm gonna pour in my sauce that we just pureed with the, the peppers, with the chipotle peppers and the ancho chilies. So I'm gonna pour all of that in there, all that good stuff. Look at that. Mm. I'm gonna pour all of it in there. And then we're gonna move on to the next few steps. All right, so it's time to season this thing on up. And we're gonna use one cube of chicken bouillon. If you're using beef, you wanna use the total opposite, which would be beef bouillon. And I'm just gonna break that up in there. And then I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of chili powder. Also one teaspoon of ground cumin. You wanna be careful on that, it's very strong. And I'm also gonna use some allspice. Now, an original recipe would require clove and cinnamon. Allspice has both of those in it. So that's why I'm only adding a small dash. So I'm gonna put some of that in there as well, along with my bay leaves and some minced garlic because I didn't feel like chopping none up, okay? And some oregano, honey. And then guess what? We're gonna add some shallots and we're gonna mix that thing right on up. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna add in some chicken broth. Okay, I'm using half of this container and you can use water if you don't have chicken broth. And if you're using beef, you can also use beef broth. Okay, whatever you wanna do, whatever floats your boat. And I'm just gonna mix this up, all right? You know, that paste is very thick. So we wanna add in some liquid and cover that thing on up. And then we're gonna cook it on high for four hours. That's all the time that you need. My, 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 look at that. Mm, 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 mm. And y'all see that little fat on the top? You wanna make sure you save just a little bit for when we get ready to fry, okay? But this is ready. This is ready, honey. And I'm just gonna take this out of the crock pot and put it into a small bowl. I'm taking out the meat because I wanna actually shred that meat. And make sure you remove your bay leaves, child, because you don't want nobody thinking that you live, you, you know, you got a little grass in your food, because, you know, everybody don't know what a bay leaf is. So make sure you take that out. And then we're just going to shred our chicken. All right? Shred it up. If you don't want to shred it, you can chop it. If you don't want to chop it, you can leave it as it is. All right? And now we're going to move on to the frying. So remember that oil I told you to save? That's it right there. You save some of that oil. I did add a little bit of canola oil to it just to thicken it. But you can save you some of that oil, or you can just use regular frying oil. And you pop that tortilla in there. Make sure you're using corn, because those are the only ones that's gonna fry up crispy. And you add your chicken, add your cheese, and make sure you carefully fold that taco over, okay? Now, if you scared of grease, this ain't for you. All right, so make sure you're being very careful when you're cooking this taco, because it will pop back at you. All right, and the cheese, it'll fall out and get all gooey. Don't worry about it, because look, it's gonna make a crust. You see that? Look at that. 
Look at that. It's, it's gonna make a crunch. Don't worry about it if it fall out. Just let it fall out. And this is what you should get. And this is our final product, honey. I topped it off with a little bit of cilantro and some fresh shallot and some lime wedges, honey. <laughs> and I'm gonna dip it in my sauce and it's gonna be good. Do you hear me? All right, so guess what? I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I hope you found it easy to follow. And if you did, make sure you like, comment, and share. All right, let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Bye.